everyone to another edition of smart chat first things first today is november 17th 2012 if you didn't catch it last week unfortunate jerry lawler after his tag match had a heart attack get well jerry and good news is is that he's on his way to recovery and that um, he's due to be released from the hospital sometime this week. Now, do you want to touch on this subject? But it begins right after this. Roll it. Very unfortunate turn of events what happened last week. And, you know, to give you an idea of how serious Jerry Lawler, Lawler's heart attack was, Michael Cole actually said that this is not part of the storyline. And even one step further, he kind of, not he kind of, he actually stopped broadcasting for, I think it was the, the remaining 40 minutes or so left of the raw broadcast. Again, it's good news, good to hear that Jerry's on the way to recovery, that he's due to be released from the hospital sometime this week. But it kind of makes me wonder, makes me think, why continue this? Now I'll explain what I mean. Why will we continue to trot out wrestlers or semi-retired retired wrestlers that are in their 50s and 60s to do this type of in-ring work you know jerry lawler took some bumps you always take bumps during matches but you see how winded sometimes people in the 30s and in their 20s mid 30s are wrestling imagine People in their 50s and in their 60s. Now, don't get me wrong. Jerry Lawler is in great shape. He's in great shape. The way he looks, he's still got some physique. But 60 is not the new 40. It's not the new 30. Maybe if we're speaking outside of the ring he still looks semi young he could probably if he's not in the ring he could probably run faster swim further than person twice his junior but doing this type of physical work in the ring at 60 years old you should not be doing that. And that's no disrespect to Jerry Lawler. It just there comes a point where WWE has to step in and say we can't have this. And that majority of, if not all, these wrestlers or semi-retired wrestlers that are in their 50s and in their 60s, they love their business. They love the business that they're in. All that hard work, devotion, being away from family, on the road that they put in, they love the business. But there comes a point in time where you have to step away and just kind of take a seat back and let all the new young talent, let them get that spot. Don't get me wrong, having veterans... You know, 50s, 60s, in wrestling, whether it be TNA, WWE, ROH, is good for the business. They're able to get, you know, certain people over, depending on how relative, you know, or depending on what goes on from that semi-retired, retired wrestler. But that could be done not by wrestling, by managing, being a mouthpiece, or by doing a promo and interview etc etc WWE should stop trotting out these wrestlers in the ring 
You know, take in point what happened to Ricky Steamboat not too long ago last year after a series of matches that he had, you know, in WrestleMania, prior Raws, uh, even after WrestleMania, he, he suffered, I believe it was a stroke or brain hemorrhage. Close call. Imagine if Jerry Lawler was not in the WWE event and he was doing this at an independence show. Do you think that he would be able to get that attention that he got that quickly at an independent show in Nowheresville, USA, where they probably have one doctor, where the WWE staff has probably a whole slew of doctors? We should stop expecting wrestlers that are retired, semi-retired, in their 50s, their 60s. Can't expect them to be in the ring. We should let it go. We don't need to lose any more stars that we already have lost for other reasons. Brian Pillman, for example. Imagine if this guy was around. The mic work, the, the, the psyche that this guy had, he would have been able to been a huge contributor to the wrestling world had he still been alive and not have happened to him what had happened. But please, let's not expect these wrestlers to trot out. And hopefully, WWE, TNA, ROH will take this as a precautionary, not my video, but the turn of events what happened at Raw last week. Take that as an example. Unfortunate on Jerry's expense, but take that as an example not to trot out these veterans. We need them around to lead the way to the younger stars. What are your comments? What are your thoughts? Rate, comment, subscribe. Leave me a message. All the pertinent information is uh, yeah, right or on my left, yeah, I don't know. It's it's there. It's constantly there on this video and all my other videos. So uh, until next time, later, Mark.